Yeah, okay, mate. Let's have a look here. Uh, Chia. Uh, I'm not sure which chart's best. I'm looking at the MEXC chart. But yeah, that is interesting. The red 200 appeared on the chart in October. Um, I am not sure. Yeah, you said on the daily. Did you say on the daily? Are you looking at the day trading tool or the trending tool? Sorry, is this the trending tool lane that uh, appeared on the 16th of October? The daily chart that I have, the red 200 moving average, is already on the chart. As you can see here, I've got the trending tool and the day trading tool on. And if I turn this trending tool off, that that to that uh, that that's a larger average. That that's like a nine hundred or a seven hundred average. Uh, I forget off the top of my head now. But unless you're looking at a different chart, I'm looking at Chia Network. Um, they all seem to be Chia Network here. Uh, so unless you're unless you're looking at KuCoin or something, maybe you're OKX. Okay, Would you be OKX? Okay, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm slightly confused. I, I don't know which chart you're looking at, and if this is the chart, maybe you're mistaken, and this is not the red 200 moving average. The red 200 moving average is there. Uh, on a three day, uh, it did start back here December 22. Okay, so it's quite a long time ago as well. Um, interesting chart nonetheless. Look at the drop on this. Um, you know, these are dangerous, no doubt. Uh, 98% down, but the the uh, if you can catch them at the bottom, of course, for some sort of a bounce, it could be uh, very very nice. It's still down 99%. Uh, actually, I said that wrong. Sorry, I said that wrong. Yeah, it's still down 90. Well, 98, almost 99%. So it's still massively down. Uh, it is failing here and breaking down again, um, which is interesting. There is this large volume breakdown uh, here, so that that is important. The fact that we have broke below that now, this can end up being resistance if we come back up into it. So price needs to recapture this to then move higher. So that is something to note. And what happened above the high volume node? Well, price topped out above the high volume node, and this market ended up selling off. Perfect signal. A little bit like what it done back here high volume node on the green volume, highest in a long time. And uh, yeah, we topped out above that and we got the sell off. Now note when this sold off, the, when you got a high volume node here, that was the bottom. And then price was able to recover and bounce back up. So far, uh, I suppose in this drop, there is no real high volume node yet uh, here. Um, it's not essential that you get it, but I'm just saying it's good to keep an eye out for a high volume node here. That could be an indication of a bottom. It is deep red here on a two week uh, after the rejection. It is deep red here on the monthly, sorry, the nine week. That's a nine week and that's a nine week bearish stop on right up there. The, this stop on level right up there. Uh, and we've negated this entire bull move. So uh, what it is suggesting is that price can go lower than here. If price bounces, you could still see lower prices. But this is, um, you know, there, there's 20 days left in this candle, so we need to see how this is going to finish. This is not very, not very bullish at all. It's pretty bad, actually. It is into a stop on the area right at the lows here, right? It's uh, we're not there yet. Oh no, we are there yet. Sorry. So there may be a small bounce here, right? See here, there's a short term bounce potential here right now, uh, but price needs to hold above this white line. So there could be a buy right here right now for a bit of a bounce higher. Uh, we could look at the 10 minute chart just to see because it's, when did we pierce that? Did we pierce that? We retested it today, but we, we pierced that a few days ago uh, I'm retesting. So there's a slight bit of bullishness here now. 2% um, risk. So you could buy you could buy this on dips here to see if there's any dip down there or a small dip or, con or consolidation here. You could buy this to see if it can go higher for a bounce. But your stop loss needs to go just below this white line. 
I think this after a bounce, wherever it bounces to, I think later it goes lower though. On a new nine week candle, it should go lower. That's 20 days away. So there's still a lot of time. If this could bounce here, you never know. You know, you just never know. But there, there, there's a stop on there on a nine week chart, which uh, is always important to pay attention to. But because this is such a bearish setup, uh, you know, it's difficult to see how much it'll bounce, but there could be some bounce. It's saying that later this should go lower again, so you need to be careful. Just uh, take a quick, quick trade in and out, and um, you know, do not hold this for long term just yet. It's deep red on a three month as well. It's also potentially a three month stop on a bullish three month stop on. So you know, this is a big, big level, very interesting level. Um, if there could be a significant bounce off this level from here. You never know. Maybe, maybe this could, maybe this level could hold, and you could end up getting, you know, the next candle higher. So big, big, big level here right now, uh, right this minute on this on this chart. You know, but these these are not good. These are not what you want to see. But uh, it doesn't mean that there can't be bounces.